Hi everyone. Happy holidays. I'm Evelyn, a Swiss artist living in South Korea, where I mostly illustrate for international clients and for myself. A few weeks ago, I had a calm day of painting, packaging, print orders, and just a little bit of client work. And so I suddenly felt the urge to document that whole process. During this vlog, I'll be painting a personal fantasy artwork in acrylics, show you my realistic desk chaos, and just the reality of what a day looks like for me. I'm a freelance illustrator doing mostly client work, which during this time of the year is a lot of marketing and storyboarding, as well as book illustrations and private commissions. But I also run a small shop and teach simple art classes here in South Korea. So this day will be a bit of a mix of all of those, as I catch up on some tasks and also make a calendar for 2024 in oil pastels. I hope you enjoy! Good morning! I spent my morning packaging orders and will run some errands later, but first I wanted to do some samples for a calendar. Now this calendar isn't for sale or anything, but I am teaching oil pastel classes locally for beginners and I thought it would be a fun little project to do what else? Doing some samples, taking pictures. I also recently got these uh, Prismacolor pencils, all in kind of portrait appropriate tones. And I also need these for class. Again, I'm, I'm teaching a couple classes and some workshops here on Jeju Island. I always have to get new materials, but I'd love to actually test the materials and maybe take some nice pictures or do a little video of swatches, things like that, before using them. I actually haven't really filmed any vlog in a while. I mostly did just drawing videos with voiceovers, so it's a bit awkward to be in front of the camera again. This week is pretty chill, so I'm hoping to just have some time to film. This is more of a day in the life vlog, but I hope to get some snippets for future videos as well. So you can see how messy this usually looks. There's cables everywhere, there's art materials kind of scattered around. I'm a pretty organized person usually, but especially with teaching classes and putting my art materials into more of a collective ownership situation, it has gotten a bit more messy. This is one of the paintings I want to finish by Thursday. It's currently in the first color layer stage, though I am I am optimistic. I feel like the base is there and if I can figure out the face, either tonight or tomorrow, then we are pretty much good to go. I also did a graphite study for it a couple weeks back. This has been helpful when approaching the painting. And something else I also want to kind of finish by the end of the week is this first paint layer at least of this Dracula illustration with all the hands of the main cast. So hands of all the main cast is taking me forever to paint, as you can see. It's quite large. It's larger than A3. I think it's the largest figurative painting I've ever tried. Really excited about it. Want to finish the first color layer. And as you can see, there's like my usual tablet set up for references and kind of just hide my other works in progress and paper palettes random sketches and more paper behind my easels, leaning against the wall. As you saw earlier, my desk is quite messy and full of unfinished paintings. At least one of those two paintings um, should also be finished by Thursday evening. 
so three days from now since it is kind of a chaotic day of me not working on client projects but instead trying to finish a couple uh, personal projects um, preparing classes preparing orders to ship it would be actually a more realistic look in the like day in the life these are the papers i'm currently using i had to restock on white colors because white oil pastels are the first ones to get used up usually my art supplies last forever and i'm a quite careful like a bit hesitant and even timid artist but these art classes have shown me that i really need to kind of be less precious about art materials, I guess. I have a few orders I kind of want to finish up, so a few labels to print, a few addresses to double check and then while it's still sunny out I'll take a chill little walk to the post office and as always discuss the finer points of international shipping with whoever is that day at the counter. made a whole bunch of calendars as gifts for friends. While I only got around to editing this video after Christmas, if you'd like to make a similar calendar for the new year, or just draw one page each month as the year goes along, you can find a PDF file linked in the description. I just printed these two per A4 page, cut them to size, and they make for a beautiful desk calendar if you place them on a small easel. I spray them with fixative, but still, oil pastels can be messy, so it's not the most pristine gift. But it's fun to find creative ways to include typical local landscapes or flowers, pick colors appropriate for each season, and I love how they turned out. If my voice in the voiceover parts sounds weird. I've been sick for most of December and finally was able to even record, at the very least, something. Hopefully January will let me record more, as I have so many nearly finished videos I wanted to post ages ago. It 
it's now just after five in the afternoon and it got dark at around four not because the sun set but because the weather turned bad and so my timeline condensed a bit i had to hurry up with my calendar samples i'd started with this kind of style a more blended approach but then i realized that i'd already spent like 20 minutes just layering colors and blending which isn't that long but if you have a like one and a half hour, two hour class to finish three pages four times as like an introduction to the medium. I don't want it to be too stressful and that everyone has to sit there like a machine and finishing uh, blended pieces in 20 minutes or half an hour or less. So I decided to go with this more drawing inspired approach, keeping it minimalist, keeping the white of the paper shining through or actually major factor of the art style and as long as oil pastels have some kind of like hard edge thanks to the masking tape and are blended smoothly it still has that like finished look that you want but i feel like this is much more approachable this is much more easy to tackle there's limited colors the blending style is simple and easy enough to finish one in like 30 minutes even if it's your first time doing oil pastels If you spot any month in particular that you'd like to see a making of video for, I'd be happy to film some of my painting process as I make another one of these for myself. So what I usually do towards the evening is I switch from drawing and illustrations and all the little tasks that have to get done during the day and I switch to my laptop for mostly editing, uh, replying to emails because a lot of my clients are actually in a way different time zone. So I have this nice buffer and can reply in the evening. And then after that, so like after dinner is my concentrated free painting time for personal pieces. So that's when I'll be painting this one. As you may have noticed, no portrait sketching got done, so We'll see if I can fit that in, but now the light is kind of too dark for a proper filming situation here. So, fun fact, it's now 11 p.m. and I haven't actually painted that portrait that I wanted to paint all day, right? Uh, I had some client work to finish, some adjustments to make, so I was mostly working on my tablet and then laptop. So now I'm a bit torn. I kind of want to just maybe hunker down for an hour or so, even if it's quite cold, paint a little bit. But at the same time, this is kind of a realistic look at how a day can go. And sometimes you have to adjust your schedule client work always comes first maybe as a part of the theme of this vlog being a realistic day in my life kind of just going to bed might be more or true to that i'll write one more email and then i'll see how i feel and you'll see if there's any painting footage after this since i mentioned digital painting this is my setup right now I do most of my rough sketching or color ideas on a Samsung Galaxy tablet, but for image editing and especially for batch processing and repeating tasks, I do prefer to go back to my laptop. So usually I have both on my desk and I also use a screenless, simple graphic tablet by Huion for proper digital painting in Photoshop. But I didn't need that tonight, so no footage of that. So these two here in the background are all kind of just creepily staring at me and judging me for not uh, bringing out my acrylics. A lot of cameras nowadays do this like whole facial recognition or like facial tracking thing and they always find it kind of funny when it then tries to focus on the faces in the background it doesn't get it doesn't capture that one yet it's too weak but like Dracula over there staring at me 
constantly gets like put on auto focus. But yeah, I shipped all my orders today. I got that sample for class ready. I uh, finished a client project that I was kind of waiting on feedback for and thus only kind of started in the evening and then finished later in the evening. By the way, I do have a ring light here and I can really recommend those if you, like me, paint a lot at night. The Pandora's box painting did get finished during several late night painting sessions that followed. It gets quite chilly at my desk in the evening during this time of the year. But thanks to a little space heater, a candle and lots of warm layers, the painting time actually felt very meditative and calming each night. The last month of the year is always very hectic as I get a lot of last minute marketing projects and putting away tablets and photoshop each evening to go back to brushes and paint gave me a way to relax yet still get some personal creative time in. I've also been listening to a lot of audiobooks and watched some of my comfort movies like Alien and Pride and Prejudice on the side. Let me know if you have any recommendations that you always rewatch while painting or drawing. I started this channel half a year ago during summer and I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed, who has commented and made this filming and editing journey so much more enjoyable than I could ever have imagined. So I hope to see you again soon in future art videos and let me know if you'd like to see anything in particular. Thank you so much for your support and for watching.